Dear Santa, when I was younger, I asked for a cat for Christmas. I'm not specifying age here, because by younger I mean every year from five years old to ten. But I would write a letter about how I wanted a black and white one, while well, I was planning to name Strawberry for some reason. The responses back were pretty nice when I was six or so, when you, Santa, would politely tell me that I simply wasn't old enough for a cat. Eventually, however, my parents told me that you informed them that our house was apparently not suitable for a cat, and our family friends have allergies to cats, and therefore we probably shouldn't get a cat, to which I only say that you had no right to snitch to my parents. When I was 11 or so, though, I was familiar with your game, and decided to list all of my year's Christmas wants, which was various toys that I would actually never end up using and even linked the website at which to find such items at the bottom of the list, so that the elves could have a reference point. You later told me that the website was outside of the North Pole's budget, to which I have to say, A, I don't think you pay for labor, and B, in hindsight, did I really need the giant floating goldfish submarine? Well, maybe, but it hasn't left my closet for the past six years, so probably not. A few years ago, I asked you for a brand new laptop. My parents laughed. I asked you for a slightly used sort of laptop, and you seemed more agreeable, so I bartered for an iPad, shook hands, and just cashed in my winnings. The past while, however, as you're probably aware, my Christmas list hasn't had anything on it. It's not that I want any less, but there are things that elves can't make and money can't buy. Like figuring out my paths in life, or getting through university in one piece, or making changes to stop social injustices, or knowing that my loved ones are safe and healthy. This year isn't so black and white. I can't list to you the things that I want most, because Santa, you can't get me happiness, or comfort, or change. Those are just things I'll need to figure out on my own. But there's nothing better than a nice cup of tea and a wooly pair of socks, so maybe we can just start there. Merry Christmas, Mr. Claus. Hope your holidays go well. Your old friend, Kate Brown. Hi, this is Tegan. Hello. And I'm Paige, and I'm gonna be asking Tegan some Christmas questions. And this is Henry as well. And Henry just got back, so he's hyper. So, Tegan, what is your favorite part about Christmas? I don't know. I like spending time with family. What's your favorite part about spending time with family? <laughs> Me? Maybe. What is your favorite Christmas food? A turkey. That's a basic answer, Tegan. Yeah, well, I'm basic. What's the worst gift you've ever been given? I don't know how to answer that question, mainly because I probably wouldn't remember it. I remember the worst gift I gave. I gave my friends, who at the time were 11 years old, crocheting kits, because I thought crocheting was cool. Spoiler alert, apparently it's not to 11 year olds. I swear, he's such a good dog. He's just really hyper because I bathed him. Tegan, what was your favorite Christmas movie growing up? Or now? I like Nightmare Before Christmas. So, do you consider that a Christmas movie? Yes. Proper thing, right on. Last Christmas, me and Tegan had to spend our Christmas in St. John's because I was in the hospital. How was that for you, Tegan? Uh, I was pretty content with this one. Okay, that's good. That's good. Glad I didn't ruin your Christmas with my cancer. Hmm. Last question of the day. What is your favorite thing about me? You. Aww. Well, Merry Christmas, Tegan, and Merry Christmas, everyone! Merry